Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Take a look at this footage as a buggy. This is a four wheel off road vehicle. The UTV traveling on this terrain is experiencing load and road shocks due to bounce, pitch, roll, or sway. These cause stress on the buggy's frame and body and provide an uncomfortable ride. To avoid these and protect the parts from shocks, a suspension system is used. In this video, we'll be talking about the suspension system and what exactly is sprung and unsprung weight. The chassis of a vehicle is connected to the front and rear wheels with the help of springs and shock absorbers, which are together called the suspension system. The suspension system helps in maximizing the contact area between the wheels and the road and also provides good handling, comfort and stability to the vehicle. So what are the common objectives while designing a suspension system? The suspension system helps in eliminating road shocks from getting to the transmission and other vehicle components and also resists the torque and braking torque reactions. As already mentioned, provides good road handling by minimizing the rolling and pitching of the vehicle system while traveling over rough surfaces or during cornering and braking. The suspension system also helps maintain the stability of the vehicle. Finally, it supports the body on the axle and maintains a proper geometrical relationship between the wheels and the body. Now, let's talk about the components of the suspension system. The first component is the spring. It acts as a neutralizer. It supports the weight of the vehicle and neutralizes the shock from the road surface. The second component is the dampers. They're also called the shock absorbers. They are used to improve the riding comfort by limiting the free oscillation of the springs. The third one is the stabilizer. It's also called the sway bar or anti-roll bar. Its function is to prevent the lateral swinging of the car, commonly known as body roll. For the final part, we'll be talking about sprung weight and unsprung weight. We know that the springs support the weight of the vehicle. The parts of the vehicle that is supported by the spring comes under the sprung weight and the other parts of the automobile which are not supported by the springs like the wheels, axle etc come under unsprung weight. The manufacturers always make sure that the sprung weight is more than the unsprung weight. This is because it reduces body jolt that is a sudden shock that is experienced by the body. Doing this provides better riding comfort for the passengers. The sprung weight is determined by subtracting the unsprung weight with the weight of the vehicle. As the sprung weight is high it pushes the unsprung weight down and gives the wheels more grip while the car moves. The lighter unsprung setup reacts to the bumps more quickly and constantly maintains the wheel grip and improves handling. So that's it for this video guys. In the next one, we'll be talking about the types of suspension systems. So until the next time, bye.